Welcome back. I'm Sam Ichimona Hihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. This is Crash Course 44, and we'll be taking a look at materials and how we can use them to override meshes and models. I want to create a little bit of a planter box right here, but uh, we don't have one. We're going to put a nice big tree. Um, so for right now, let's go ahead and create one. Let's make it uh, 64 by 64. Uh, and we're going to use a cylinder, and we're going to keep it 12-sided. Okay, now let's grab this cylinder, and let's hide everything. And I just want to focus on this cylinder for now. It's going to give us a frame for everything. We're going to flip it, grab the edges, press T, and uh, let's take the grid, let's uh, move it up uh, two units. So we're going to actually end up creating the smooth edges. Press E, let's go ahead and extrude it out two. Oops, sorry. Uh, make sure that the units are going to be a little bit easier. So let's actually drop it down to one. There we go. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the grid back to four, press N. Maybe we can go back to two, press N. And then let's just go ahead down two. And then we can go ahead and create the rest of this. So I'm just going to go ahead here. And if we want to go 16, why not? It's up to us. Maybe even eight down. I think that's really all that we need. Now, if we uh, go ahead and unhide this, uh, we'll see that we've done a pretty good job so far, but we haven't finished out the rest. Uh, so with this planter box, um, I'm going to actually end up filling this hole for right now. And then um, I'm just going to do some quick topology uh, to try to reduce how many n-gons that we have. So a couple of ways that we can do this. I can either create cuts manually by pressing C and going across, or just select each of these vertices, press V. It's up to you, whatever you think is faster. Okay, and now we've taken care of that end gone all right i want to add some mud to this so i'm just going to go ahead here mud we can take a blend if we want and uh shift t and if we want we can go ahead and line this up Ooh, that's a kind of an ugly texture let's use this texture instead oh my god those are all terrible textures how about this one please tell me this one looks good there we go. Okay, for right now, I think that's going to be fine. Um, this brick texture wall, so let's go ahead and let's apply it. And I'm just going to go ahead and deselect these faces. Uh, shift T for right now. And uh, I think what will end up happening well is if we end up going through a little bit of a peel here. Uh, but before we uh, peel it, I'm going to press J on these edges. Let's instantly smooth this out. And uh, with the peel tool, you can go right here, select this world space, peel it, and let's go in the opposite direction. Oof, do either of these look good? You know, these don't look that good. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the world or grid for now. Okay, and uh, up here, if we want, we can go ahead and, and, and take care of that another time. I'd probably just go ahead and remove the faces and then peel it in this direction, uh, but it'd have to be separated. So uh, we can just actually quickly do that. Let's press uh, Alt-N. Yeah, that'll have it separated. Select this inner ring. Let's go ahead and peel it in this direction. There we go. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> now, of course, if you want to spend more time, you can spend more time making this look uh, nice and neat. Uh, but at this point, we've gone ahead and uh, we've created here a planter box. Now, look what happens is when I unhook this, it's, it's not going to be smooth edged at all. Uh, so I, I am going to have to remerge this. And by remerging it, Okay, we are going to be forced now. There we go. Just go around, merge, 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 and we get those smooth edges back. So for a lot of people, if you're looking at why smooth edges isn't working, you have to have closed these off. There we go. And uh, now we've got a, a much better way to look at how our planter box is going to work. So a little bit of uh, unwrapping is fine, but ultimately, we now move this where we want. Okay, so <clears throat> we're uh, halfway done. Yeah, but I want to go ahead and, and I, I want to add a little bit more to this. So first thing I can do is bring over our models. I have a tree. There's a, a tree here that I want to put down that has uh, no branches. There it is right down here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add this tree. I'm going to just make it bigger. I think right here is fine and we can always change that in a second if we want to and now this tree has a custom texture there it's already on there okay this is a default texture uh, but we can override it okay i'm going to go to materials i'm going to go type in zen okay and believe it or not this is going to be what we do uh, and i'm going to go zen and let's go 
to this one, mud dead zen. Now I can actually go to the properties of this tree and underneath our render, there's an override material. Okay, you can just go ahead and drag that material over and it's gonna override it, <clears throat> okay? Now it's brown and it, you know I didn't really want this, you know, it doesn't actually look that bad, but I actually, I want it to look like it has moss growing and dead zen, believe it or not, does a pretty good job of that. Um, so with this selected, okay, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go into face mode, press uh, three, I'm sorry, press five, press shift V to go into paint mode. It's going to say paint on and selected objects. Since I had this selected, now you'll notice that this is only going to paint on this, nothing else. So I'm just going to reduce this radius, even though I'm actually going to paint pretty much the entirety of it. Okay, so I'm just going to paint the entire thing for right now. And uh, from far away, it looks like we have some zen uh, that actually ends up uh, creating a moss-like effect. And if you really want to go ahead and, and sell it, go to your models, uh, type in weed, and let's load up the asset spray tool. This is that fun one we've learned a little bit earlier. Let's uh, add a few of these into here. And we've got one so far. Let's add a second one. And let's add a third one. All right. And we can just go ahead and we can spray this down. And I'm just gonna go with the default one. Let's lower this. It's, we're gonna let it place on the models. And there we go. Okay, so I, I've taken this tree and now we've completely converted it with just a few clicks. There we go. You can see, I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing as the acid spray tool is starting to get a little bit out of control, but it does give you the effect that we wanted to get. This tree is starting to look a little bit more like it's been overrun and overgrown. And if I really want to, I should add some uh, effects down here. I can get rid of this. Notice the spray asset tool kind of going crazy. That's all right. Just take care of the extra trim. And now I've given myself something that looks uh, pretty much on par. Uh, I, I, if I really want to though, let me go down here with our models and with the word tree, there's some nice uh, rates. I'm gonna use this one. Let's go ahead, let's bring this grate over. Let's move it into position and pull it up. And just try to center it. There we go. Uh, now, uh, what I'm really gonna do actually, just to make this easier, let me just hide everything just so I can get through, kind of get an estimate of how this is gonna work, okay? And uh, with this mode, I'm just gonna quickly copy this. We're going to rotate it a couple of times. Let's, let's see here. Should have the correct insertion point, but I think I know what's going on. There we go. Okay. Copy and paste it. Let's go ahead, unhide everything. Okay. And now we have our grate, but, <clears throat> you know, if I want to go ahead, I could spend more time lining this up. Uh, but for our sake, just quickly, same idea override this material and the uh, shift V and I'm just going to paint it all green. Okay, so it looks like, looks like it's been kind of overrun. Maybe we can have some of it overrun, some of it not, uh, but material override is a great way for us to just quickly take stuff that already exists and do some changes, shift around and make it look a lot nicer. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this material override tutorial and we'll see you guys for our next one.